great song. Country singer Ty Herndon has spent his nearly 30 year career on and off the charts. The star's battle with addiction made success fleeting, but a quarantine relapse changed his life for the better. Now the singer's leaving secrets behind for a new chapter as a newly wed and champion of Sober October. So joining us now from Nashville's country star Ty Herndon. Good morning. Good morning, guys. How are you? Doing well. <laughs> nice to see you. First, congratulations on your wedding. Yeah. How's the married Thank life you. been? What's what? How's the adjustment? <laughs> I'm getting fat. Oh. <laughs> Somehow that you happens. just after the wedding you forget about the gym. There's just cake, you know. So yeah. so crazy. <laughs> Oh, that's awesome. Hey, Lauren, you, Lauren, you got a good voice. I heard you singing. So oh, you my it. God. Oh, you're being, you're being very <laughs> you're generous. You're being very generous. I have a <laughs> oh, very mediocre like voice. But this, these photos we're seeing are so, so touching and wonderful. And you have actually had a long journey to being open about your sexuality. So just tell us a little bit about your experience being an openly gay man in country music. Well, I always like to tell the kids of that council, you know, there's just a little bit something more interesting about you. Because, you know, I think we are... Um, are just beautifully made and you know I hate it when I hear kids say that they're broken I hate it when I hear someone that's just you know going into into their their journey in sobriety to say you know what this is you know this life isn't for me man I'm just I'm just you know I'm, I'm too damaged and it's like you know for me I've been there and I know what it feels like to uh, to not want to be here and I definitely know what it's like to have a spiritual foundation and find your life again with the connection of God and friends and family, a new husband, you know, a, a dog, a kitchen, <laughs> all the little things that make life yeah. wonderful. And, you know, and just, and just living in the truth. It's, uh, it's sometimes the hardest thing to do, but it's the greatest gift. Mm. And you've said before that your personal secrets contributed to your addiction struggles. Uh, what do you tell people about addiction stereotypes? I'm sure that there are, there are many. You know what? I have a t-shirt that I wear, it says sober on the front mm -hmm. and on the back it says, and I'm fun, damn it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know, you know, getting sober and doing the work, I think the 12 steps, I think kids have to do them in high school before they graduate. You know, it's just a, a foundation like that, something to be proud of. And what we've been through in our lives, you know, it's a tapestry uh, and you know, it's not always gonna be perfect, but you, you're gonna have stories to tell. You're gonna have to build new rooms. I always like to say, I had to, you know, I, I burned the town down but in those ashes, I didn't, I didn't wipe them away because they were the foundation that made me smarter to build on. Oh. And so my new town, my new town, you know, it's got a bar in it, but I just don't go in. <laughs> yeah, yeah, such a good message. And, you know, looking back a little bit, quarantine was a really hard time for so many people and it drove you yes. to relapse. So tell us about that pivotal period. You know, I've never been all that great at just like being by myself. I'm a very social person. So I've you know, a lot, I think a lot of people are, but uh, being thrown into a situation where you had meetings online and you you, you, you were alone, you know, yeah. and I, I, uh, I, I was, I would be very, I'll be very, very honest to say there just was a lot of stuff that I knew I hadn't dealt with. Yeah. Uh, a lot of doors that I hadn't opened yet from trauma to depression, to sadness, to, and, and I needed to go there. Um, and I just wasn't prepared for um, being isolated. And it just, it, it, you know, it almost caved in on me. But by the grace of God, you know, I, I had some more songs to sing and I had some more work to do um, to be exactly where I'm supposed to be today. And that's just, you know, sometimes relapse is a part of your recovery. Sometimes it's it, you, you got to go there to realize how much you want to live and to realize that you can go out there and help others because it's all about giving back. And, you know, I'm a I'm a sponsor today. I'm a, a licensed sober companion, but and I'm, yeah. I'm tough. I'm, I'm tough when it comes to that, but I'm also very loving because I have for me to be tough on you. I'm gonna have, I, I'm gonna love you, and so uh, my husband always says to walk in love, and uh, you know I, I, that's another that maybe that'll be a new tattoo. <laughs> yeah, well, let's talk about that love a little bit. Uh, what do you love about October uh, sober October? What does this mean to you? Wow, you know, anytime you can spread such a positive light on people making the changes they need to make, it's a reason to celebrate because mental health is 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 not great globally right now and there's there's so many resources out there to get some help but we have a whole month to celebrate that because you should celebrate if you do the work and you realize that you have an opportunity to make yourself to connect this and this and go out there and, and, and live your best life then you should be celebrated there's no stigma to me it's just that you were brave enough to do that and to know that family and friends man they really step up for you 
And if they didn't, then they've got they've got some uh, they've got some rooms they need to build. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So we have dry January now, sober October, another opportunity yeah, to take a pause <laughs> and stop drinking and, you know, look at your life. Well, we appreciate you for sharing the message with us this morning and Ty's new album. Yeah, Ty's new album, Jacob, the deluxe version, is out November 17th. Head to tyherndon.com for the very latest. Ty, thanks again. It's great to speak with you, you today. And we'll be right back.